Hello, ACT uh, people. This is Wade Hood, and I'm just going through a quick review. If you've already seen some of my stuff, you're like, hey, I've seen this a million times. If you've never seen my stuff, this is one of the best um, PDF formula cheat formula charts I've ever seen. And I did not, this is not mine. This is from myclass101.com, and it was on the internet. So I, I found, you can find it. Um, you can Google stuff, and I found this the best one I've seen. And of course, it's it's on the internet, so I'm using it. Okay, these are about roots, powers, and exponents. And I'm just going to briefly say that most of <clears throat> the ACT test is algebra, geometry, some trig, and some minor um, questions here and there that that's going to test for the kids who want 32 to 36. So I'm going to bring that in too. But this is a general, like if you know this stuff, you know most of the ACT if you can think and use logic. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through this quickly. You can watch this video several times. You don't have to just watch it once and get it all. So you may want to re-watch it. <clears throat> Anything to the zero power is one. Anything to the first is itself. And if you take uh, square uh, a square root of something or the, you can separate square roots. A to the M and A to the N, you add the exponents. And if you have powers of powers, you multiply the powers. If you divide, you subtract the exponents. Anything to the negative exponent means one over. I apologize, it's bringing up the links and not showing the formula. And when you have A to the M over N, it's the nth root of A to the M. So that's a very common problem too that you'll see on the more advanced problems. Okay, what logarithms are, are basically another way to write exponents. And you can see this one, the log of xy is the log of x plus the log of y, which looks a lot like the addition rule for exponents. So <clears throat> if you've seen my other videos, there's a trick on um, uh, the TI calculators, how to get a log of anything. And I don't have to think it's like math alpha math will bring up a log. So you can try that and on my other video, it's on there. Okay, the quadratic formula. Now, when I solve quadratics, what I often see on ACTs, it's not the quadratic formula often, but it is factoring this quadratic to get the roots, either the find the roots, find the sum of roots, find the product of roots, or whatever. There's often some speed problems, velocity is distance over time. If you've had uh, rudimentary science or physics, you've seen that formula a lot. Okay, y equals mx plus b is your friend. You should know that, um, the y-intercept is b, and m is the slope. It's the rise over run. The y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And sometimes you'll see perpendicular. There, If a line crosses perpendicularly, if one is positive, one is negative slope. So it's 1 over m, and negative 1 over m is the uh, perpendicular slope. The distance formula looks a lot like the Pythagorean theorem. Not theory, but some people always write the theory instead of theorem. And midpoint is very popular, but you can often draw that pretty easily. Okay, triangles, one half base height, three, four, five, one, two, square to three, one, two, rad three. And when I was learning uh, these things, we call them rad for radical, the square root symbol. Rad is shorter than square root. A 30, 60, 90 triangle has some special things about sine, cosine, and tangent as well, which we'll talk about later. Isosceles, two equal sides, equal lateral. I've never seen this formula used much because you can always break it into two 30, 60, 90 triangles, but I've seen it in other places. Pythagorean theorem, there are some Pythagorean triples you should know. Of course, the 3, 4, 5 and the 6, 8, 10 is a multiple of 3, 4, 5, but the 5, 12, 13 is very common and a little bit less common, 7, 24, 25, 8, 15, 17. There are a few important Pythagorean triples and here are most of them. Okay, I'll come back to the top up here. Prime numbers start at two and are only have uh, two factors itself and one. Perfect squares, uh, if you've had some other, um, like in Texas, number sense, you know some of these squares and you see these often, your, your calculator can do them. But the more number sense you have, the better you're gonna score. Irrational numbers, it says, Ira rational numbers can be written as a square root of integers. So irrationals cannot, and examples are pi, and square roots of non-perfect squares. Okay, imaginary numbers, and you'll see more about this later on other videos, about how to do the I. Of course, it's a, it's a, when you have a parabola that net doesn't intersect the x-axis, then you have imaginary roots. 
<clears throat> mean median mode probably very uh, very common weighted average uh, you'll see those in some of the other videos trapezoid you take the a and b add them up divide by two multiply by height and the trapezoids are very common on these tests okay <clears throat> a 45 45 is one one square root of two very common again Sokotoa. if you haven't You'll see the other videos in my uh, um, playlist for Sokotoa, but you're going to see problems on Sokotoa, two or three or four, depending on the type of test. Okay, this question right here, I've, I've often see it like they give you the formula for it, but the sum of angles in a regular polygon, it's 180 times n minus 2. For example, if n equals 3. For a triangle, 3 minus 2 is 1 times 180 is 180. And then if n equals 4 for a quadrilateral, 2 times 180 is 360. So, and it gets more larger numbers with n. Okay, the central angle and uh, the, all the angles, all the measures of the central angles of a circle are 360. So, that's very common too. Uh, area of a circle is pi r squared. They don't have it here, but surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r squared. There's the volume of a sphere. And those are not as common. Uh, area of cylinders, if you have t top and bottom of a cylinder, it's two circles plus the, um, if you cut a cylinder, it becomes a, a, a rectangle, and that length is 2 pi r times the height. It's length times width. So it's 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h, and the volume is pi r squared h. And often they give you those formulas. So that was a really quick, this is way too much, but if you know every one of these formulas, and you know every one of these terms, you're going to be well prepared for the ACT. And of course, on this, the next page of the PDF, it's, it's like a blank, so you could fill it in. Now, there's one more formula that I've seen in the last year or so, the formula for an ellipse. So pause this video and look at this. Pause. Beep, beep. Okay, now that you've looked at it for a moment, x squared or x minus h squared over a squared plus y minus k over b squared, in this case, if a is the bigger number, it's underneath the x, it's a horizontal ellipse. Here, the a is underneath the y coordinate, so it is a is vertical ellipse. And it's really like a circle. X, I, I'm sorry, let me go back to the circle for a moment. Uh, I almost missed that one. Here it is. The equation for a circle is either x squared plus y squared equals r squared for a center at 0, 0, or center at a, b, then we have x minus a squared plus y minus b squared equals r squared. Okay, so that's a circle formula. Now let me go back to the ellipse formula. It looks just like a squashed circle. So if you multiply by a squared times b squared equals r squared, then you get a perfectly uh, formed a and b are perfect squares. That works. But um, here's an example of a problem of an ellipse. It shows you x squared over 9 plus y minus, five, y minus 5 squared over 16 equals 1. Okay, this is the A. A is 4. This is the B. B is 3. So your center is at 0, 5. So up here, here here's your axis. You're going to go 0, 5. And you're going to go up 4 and over 2. So, of course, the answer is uh, 0, 9. And here's another ellipse problem. If you have x minus 4 squared over 4 plus y minus 10 squared over 16. Again, this is a vertical ellipse at center 410. So I graphed this ellipse on a website somewhere. The ellipse is center 410, and you go up 4 over 2. So you go up 4 over 2 for the, the sem, this is called a semi-major axis and semi-minor axis, and watch the YouTube videos on ellipses that, I, that are in my playlist too, but this is a quick version of that. And, of course, this is from test B05, and, of course, there are no solutions because the ellipse and circles do not intersect. Okay, so that's a really quick introduction to these formulas. Almost forgot the circle again. So, hope you enjoyed this, and hopefully you, you can pause it and see more stuff, and we will...